This is the only zombie movie that scares me. The zombies in it are no longer spread because of a virus but through a mysterious Southeast Asian sacrificial ritual. Adding many horror elements compared to traditional zombie films. The screen can make people clench their asses. The film is high energy throughout. Do not try to watch alone. A group of students took advantage of the holiday to camp in the wilderness. All the students eat and drink. But where he is alone in the jungle taking pictures, he accidentally finds a used bottle. The bottle had a weird red rune written on it. Curious. Wary opened the cap, and the bottle instantly emitted a cloud of pungent green smoke, which scared him and made him throw it to the ground. The broken bottle contains a black liquid similar to asphalt. There was a strange creature with nails wrapped inside. He subconsciously took a close-up with his camera, but just then, someone in the grass suddenly called out his name. Wary turned to look but saw nothing, he thought he heard things, so he left the scene without care, unbeknownst to him. Many similar bottles were piled up under the tree next to him, like a sacrifice to some horrible evil spirit. Where he had unknowingly been contaminated with something unclean. After the camping trip, the group immediately drove back to the school. Because it was summer vacation, the school gates were already closed, but this could not stop them. And then they got in through the back door. The other two people chose to go home because they were closer to home. But just as they were passing a house, where he heard the frightening shouting again. Although a little scared, he still looked inside. The result was the same as before. He still saw nothing. He rushed to follow the students in front of him. They thought no one would know they were going out. But the class teacher on duty had been waiting in the dormitory for a long time. Because they had violated the school's rule against going out without permission, the homeroom teacher punished them for cleaning the dormitory's toilet. But while they were cleaning, a thunderbolt fell from the sky and hit the school's power lines. The whole school was plunged into darkness. Because the school was located in a remote area, the cell phone network was disrupted. The dark toilets made it impossible for them to continue working. So they started laughing and joking. However, they did not know that where he was standing by dumbfounded. His face was pale as he kept seeing images of what he had seen during the day in his mind. Then his mouth began to spit out asphalt. When the students heard the commotion, they immediately took him to the dormitory to rest. Adley found he had a high fever and went to the infirmary for fever-reducing medicine, but no sooner had he left than where he began to convulse and spew a large amount of asphalt from his mouth. Then he fell into a coma and was unconscious. The students were stunned by what they saw. Ketchik was about to check on him when Wary suddenly opened his black eyes and sprayed Nick with asphalt. He had lost his mind and turned into a zombie. At the critical moment, Adley arrived in time with the class teacher. The bright light from the flashlight scared away the mutated Wary. By the time Adley caught up with him, Wary had already disappeared. Seeing that the students were shocked, the class teacher had to take them to his office. He asked them what had happened to Wary's body, but they also needed clarification. The teacher tried to call the outside world for help, but the phone was still dead. Adley's phone was charged though, but the signal was weak, and he had to go to the highest building to call. The class teacher then took Adley and rushed there, leaving the others in the office. As soon as they walked out, they heard screams from the dormitory. The class teacher was worried about the safety of the students, so she decided to split up. Adley went to the upper floor to make a call while he went to the dormitory building to check the situation, but the scene seen in front of him, but the class teacher creepy, bloodied corpses were lying on the bed, and several zombies were eating the students on the floor. Seeing that the two corpses on the bed also began to mutate, the teacher was so scared that he immediately ran away. A zombie chased after him. He hid in a narrow escape. But just as he was about to leave, another zombie pounced on him. Panicked. The teacher turned on the flashlight. The zombie saw the bright light and was immediately scared away. The security guard on the other side also heard the same movement. He followed the sound and soon saw the figure of a student. The unknown security guard rushed to check and saw the blood on the other side. The security guard felt something was wrong. At this time, Adley just came to the building and screamed. Scared. He rushed to hide in a classroom. After some searching, I finally received a signal at the window. But the first thing this idiot did was not call the police. Instead, he called his sister Alia and asked her to come to school. Unaware that a zombie had arrived in the classroom, Adley was halfway through his sentence when the signal was suddenly cut off. He was about to call again when he heard a strange sound behind him. Suddenly a zombie lunges at him. It's a mutated wary. And Adley dodges and gets bitten on the arm. He grabbed a pair of scissors and stabbed at Wary, seeing that the other party had reached the ground. Adley hurriedly took the opportunity to escape, but he did not know that Wary was back on his feet again. Luckily, Adley made it back to the office, 
He told everyone everything that had just happened, he also said that he had stabbed Wary and didn't know whether the other party was dead or alive. And they were shocked to hear that. But Adley was more worried about whether he would become the same as him if Wary bit him. The class teacher's situation was not optimistic. And he was about to return to the office. He was about to return to the office when he suddenly saw a large group of zombies gathered in front of him. They were standing under a tree as if performing a mysterious ritual. After reciting a few incantations, the corpses on the ground turned into zombies. This scene gave the class teacher chills. He had to choose another way around the office. But halfway down the hall, there was a sudden bang in the room next to it. And it turned out to be the security guard. The class teacher hurriedly hid inside. Remembering what had just happened, the security guards were still upset but didn't know what had happened. After discussion, the two decided to rush to the office first and meet with their classmates before making plans. After receiving a call from Adley, Alia and her girlfriend returned to school after they were ready to go home. But the door was closed. So they had to go through the back door. Adley, waiting in the office, suddenly thought his sister might be unable to enter the school. So he went to the duty room to get the key. Worried about Adley alone, Ketchik also planned to go with him. The two soon arrived at the duty room but needed help finding the key to the door. At that moment, Adley suddenly showed the same symptoms as Wary. First, he sees strange patterns in his mind. And then he spits asphalt. A precursor to becoming a zombie. Suddenly a zombie appeared not far away. The two rushed to hide in the dusty room. Adley already knows his end. To cover Ketchik back to the office, he decided to rush out to lure the zombie away. Just as he expected, the zombies did not attack when they caught up with him. He has been infected but not completely mutated. Meanwhile, Alia and her best friend had arrived at the soccer field through the back door. A bloody soccer ball caught their attention. There was a strange figure standing at the goal. Just as they were about to ask, her lunged at them with his teeth bared. The grimace scared the two of them, and they ran away. On the way to escape, Alia accidentally fell to the ground. The zombie was about to pounce on the fallen Alia. The girlfriend rushed to use the backpack bag to hold her firmly in place. But it didn't take long for the zombie to break free. At the right moment, the class teacher and the security guard were passing by. They heard the commotion and rushed over, using their flashlights to save them from the zombie's mouth. But more zombies were coming. Too late to explain, the class teacher rushed to lead a few people to run wild. Finally, they returned to the office without a scratch, followed by Ketchik, Alia, the sister, is devastated when she learns that Adley has been turned into a zombie. But the most important thing is to drive away from the school first. But her best friend said that the zombies took the backpack with the car keys away during the fight with them. The hope of escape is destroyed. And everyone is in despair. Luckily, the homeroom teacher had already discovered the zombie's weakness, fear of light. If we can activate the school's emergency generator, we can use the lights to escape from here. As a precaution, several people split up. The security guard took the others to start the generator. The class teacher and Alia went to the highest school building to call the police. When they arrived downstairs, they found a place full of zombies. Luckily, the zombies didn't stay long and left. They took the opportunity to go upstairs. But Alia was about to pull out her cell phone when she suddenly saw Adley standing in the hallway. The two of them cautiously approached. Unbeknownst to them, Adley had completely lost his mind. The homeroom teacher rushed to block him but a punch soon knocked him down. Alia tried to help but became the target of Adley's attack instead. She kept shouting Adley's name, hearing her sister shout. Adley seemed to regain some sanity, slowly lowered his hands from her neck. But soon, the evil power took over again. In order not to hurt his sister, Adley held onto his last shred of sanity and leaped from a high building. The zombies were coming upstairs. The class teacher can only take the grieving Alia away by force. Before the zombies caught up with her, the two of them hid in the innermost classroom. But because she was too nervous, Alia accidentally touched the desk behind her. And the sound she made disturbed the zombies. So they had to escape through the back door. The zombies swarmed around them. They managed to shake off the zombies. But just when they were about to hide in a warehouse, the zombies came after them again. Although at the last minute, they managed to open the warehouse door, but in the fight against the zombies, the class teacher was accidentally bitten on the arm. Fortunately, Alia used the flashlight to scare away the zombies in time, but more zombies came to hear the sound. Zombies also surrounded two people in the warehouse. On the other side, the security guard led a few people to the engine room, but because the generator has not been used for a long time, not only the fuel tank is empty, some places also have different degrees of damage. To repair the generator, 
Ketchik alone to the tool room to get some necessary tools and gasoline, but when he returned, he was targeted by zombies. He ran towards the generator room, with the zombies chasing after him. Security guards saw it and rushed up to help him out. Although he successfully covered Ketchik to enter the machine room, but he was entangled by the zombies because there was only one security guard, and he was quickly overwhelmed by zombies. But his sacrifice also to repair the generator bought much time. The other side of the two people has been completed in a desperate situation. More and more zombies outside. The class teacher inside is about to lose his mind. To let Alia live alive. The teacher had to cover her escape through the back door and then open the gas tank in the warehouse. Ready to die with the zombies. The zombies soon break through the door. Before losing consciousness, the teacher lights the lighter in hand. At the same time, people in the engine room also fixed the generator. The light made the zombies outside instantly fall to the ground. Several people persisted until dawn. Finally successfully rescued, 